Jack Senpei here with a video this time on mechanical doping and professional cycling. And this is actually a thing, and it's an admitted thing. So everyone knows about Lance Armstrong doing like blood doping and stuff like this. I'm going to take it a step further and say professional cyclists are also using mechanical bikes or e-bikes as they're called, or mechanical doping. So first off, we're going to play this video from an Italian TV show where they have, they demo a, an e-bike that was allegedly used by a professional. So this is the Italian, this is a professional cyclist here, David Cassani. I tried the bike and I can tell you that with this bike with engine, I may win a gyro stage, although I'm 50 years old. And now we're going to show the mechan mechanism. If you push this button, you switch on the engine and he pushes the button. And look, it just starts spinning. As you can see, the bicycle is apparently identical to normal ones. It works by itself. It doesn't stop. On the contrary, it goes faster and faster. And now pushing this button, I can make it stop pedaling. So basically, it's, a, it's assisting the cyclist by you know, spinning the crank. And it, it helps. It helps a lot. As you can see, the bicycle is apparently identical to normal ones. It works by itself. It doesn't stop. On the contrary, it goes faster and faster, blah, blah, blah. How does this bike work? There's a battery in the bike near the pedals. You don't see anything different from normal bikes, and you push this button, the bike engine starts, and it's impressive. The interviewer asks, what is the greatest speed? And he comes, riding this bike, I may reach 50 kilometers an hour. Did any professional cyclist try this on a race? The man who gave us this bike said so. It was in 2004, I believe. Now, I want to show you one, a cyclocross race with Fem Driske using a this is an admitted she got busted using an e-bike this is her right here and look at how fast she pulls away from the peloton and note she still has her butt firmly planted in the saddle and for anyone that's ridden a bike at any like kind of competitive serious level when you're going uphill you pretty much have to take your butt out of the saddle to make any type of like pull ahead of the peloton because otherwise you just can't get enough you can't generate enough speed to pull out if you're not standing up. Notice how everyone else is, has their butt out of the pad, the saddle. Here's the famous one with Consolara. Look at him. The, he He's going normal, and then it just turns on the burners. This looks like he's, he's racing a bunch of kindergartners, but these are all professional cyclists. He just absolutely burns these guys. And this is the one that got woke people up to mechanical doping. In my opinion... And his butt's, again, his butt's firmly planted in the saddle. It doesn't make any sense. How is he racing him past this with his butt in the saddle? I mean, look at this. Just insane. He just zooms past everyone, butt in the saddle, past the peloton. Makes him look like he's racing a bunch of kindergartners. Yet they're, he's racing professional cyclists. And look how far he is ahead of the peloton. Everyone else is just like, <sighs> there's Consolaro with his motorbike. And there's Consolar, no, no one near him in the peloton. He's just completely dusted everyone. And they can't even see him. That's how much it is. It's just insane. This is obviously mechanical doping. This is a prime example of it. It's way worse than the first one I showed with the cyclocross racer. Way worse, in my opinion. Which is absolutely insane. And this is the second place guy. And... I mean, you can see, he's just so far up ahead. All right, this is another cyclocross one with Van Art. And, oh, no, no, this is Consolara, sorry. And, again, Consolara pulls up. His butt is in the saddle, and this is cobblestone, which is already kind of tough to gain this much um, traction on to do a climb. And his butt is in the saddle, and he's just pulling ahead of this guy. Watch, it'll get worse from here. His butt's in the saddle. This guy has his, his butt's out of the saddle, and he still can't even catch up with Consolara, who's just chilling like he's riding his bike on flat land, and he's still speeding up. It doesn't make any sense. And he just pulls away. Again, look, Consolara's not even in sight. Nowhere to be seen. And poor guy behind him can't even keep up with his butt out of the saddle. I mean, it's... This is cobblestone, which is already going to, or brick or whatever, which is already going to be tough because you don't get as much traction on it. So it's already tough to, to gain uh, speed on that, let alone with your butt still in the saddle. This is a Van Art one. This is pretty damning. 
I mean, look at the butt. Look at the tire. It's spin <laughs> it spins. It looks like it has a little motor on it. It's spinning independently. How's that even possible? That looks like a dirt bike spinning. It doesn't even make sense. Looks like a freaking dirt bike. I mean, this is this is insane. That's obviously an e-bike. No question about it. No other explanation. That is an e-bike. Here's another one with a crash. Note the crash. How's this guy even crash? That's not. He just crashes. And notice here, the bike starts spinning. Doesn't even make any sense. And the motorcycle runs it over. So he breaks. I don't even know how he falls. And notice here that the tire, the wheel is rubbing. And these road bike tires are so, wheels are so light that if they touch the ground, they stop. So the wheel comes to a complete stop. He unclips, it stopped, and then it starts spinning again and spins right over the motorcycle that runs it over. I mean, people, it just doesn't make any sense. It's obvious they're doing mechanical doping with this, with mechanical doping or cheating, as I like to prefer to call it. But it's not even cheating because the UCI knows it exists, and they're basically giving them to the guys that they want to win or allowing them to do it. Because if the UCI really wanted to stop this, they could just get an x-ray machine and scan the bikes before the competitions. But they don't, which means the UCI is sanctioning this and because pro cycling, just like every other sport, is completely rigged. Thanks for watching.